welcome to the first episode of a brand new series recording the adventures of the Soratech SMP. For today's episode, I when I first logged in, I noticed a storage system. Um, we don't really have a storage system. This is basically all of it. I mean, we have localized storage systems for each of our farms, but it's very difficult to like say make a TNT duper because you have to take stuff from basically random chests everywhere like this chest um, so for this episode I want to start a new project and that is a massive one that will um, impact the entire future of the server which is making a storage system so my plan is to bomb out 31 chunks by 31 chunks just so we have a fresh canvas to uh, make our storage system in and also make a pretty cool floor design like the one here it looks pretty cool so let's get right into a time lapse of the world eater sadly the replay mod wasn't working for me um but we are able to make the storage um, perimeter world eater, um, find a place for it, um, and we are able to clear out the entire area. Let me show you that right now. We are able to clear out a 31 by 31 chunk area completely to bedrock. Um, for this perimeter, we're not planning on removing Y5 to Y0 um, bedrock. We're just planning to add a floor. And so that is what the next segment will be about. Designing a floor placer and how simple it would be with some carpet rolls. Um, I'm really looking forward to this perimeter just because of how cool um, it will look in the end. Making a floor placer is a lot simpler than it might seem at first. The reason why I say this is carpet has a few um, mods or changes that it adds that really add to the quality of life. The first one is movable block entities. I cannot stress enough, these should be added. I mean, Mojang, come on. Parity is important. Um, that's the first one. The second one is dispensers place blocks. This, it's debated if it should be added. We're playing with it because we can. I mean, that's the whole theme of solar tech. So, um, using these principles, we can design a floor placer. Um, our needs is we must be able to do it in one go and we must be able to um, launch it all at the same time um, we have it must place a block every tick or not every tick but every single time it's pushed and um, we originally were going to place carpets but we decided and eh, we have a really cool pattern that we can make so the whole principle behind this will be downwards facing dispensers and then our sticky blocks our observers to always power this um, dispenser and then of course our engine in the back to push it forward um, probably the hardest part of this whole um, project will be the engine it's really a simple project um, so if we just do this it'll place a block every time um, yeah that's basically the entire idea now if you wanted to go a bit further with this and say add carpets you would do it something like this so for the um, regular slime You'd have your dispenser downwards facing, the slime block, and then behind it, 
you'd have downwards facing dispenser with carpets. Um, and each of these would have items inside. Then you could just have a single observer and each time that this is pushed, um, it would place a block. That one it didn't because the carpet didn't have a supporting block. But after this, the carpet would be placed. And the great thing about dispensers is you can make these random designs with up to nine carpets. And so we are testing out some designs, um, but we thought, mm, would that look good with our future storage? Probably not. But for if if you wanted to launch all of these machines at the same time, I mean, you could launch a single module with say uh, three of these. Yeah, three of these um, floor placers together, and you could just use the same uh, six six dispensers over and over. But we want to do it all in one go because we can and because it's more efficient. So if you decide that, then you would probably want to use a design like this. So of course we have the normal two dispensers, but because um, these honey blocks are um, transparent, you aren't able to power both of these dispensers at the same time because this this dispenser will be powered by quasi connectivity because this block will always be powered no matter what it is but this block won't be powered because the signal can't be transmitted to this block and so to show this let's just add a piston that places and i did put carpets in this and the carpets don't play so there's a very simple solution to this. It is to just have a forwards plate um, facing observer there and to have a forwards facing observer here. And so basically what this does is with quasi connectivity, this dispenser is powered um, any time that the block above it would be powered. And so Air blocks can't be powered, but say if we put a lamp here, this block would be powered, this block right here. And so therefore by quasi-connectivity, this dispenser would be powered. And so to show you this works, I'll just push it forward and it's placed. So this is very simple. Um, you can string three of these together, two of these together, add an engine, and you can place them all at the same time. But we're just going with the simpler design for going the second dispenser, and we're going to place the entire floor with a very cool design. So there you go. That's the whole principle. We are back on the survival world, and now we just have to jump into time lapse and get this auto floor placer done.
Now that we have finished making the floor placer, I have added the shulker box unloader and minecart loader. Now this is a custom design for the minecart loader. Um, if you want the design, it will be in the comment or description. Um, it will just be a simple lightmatic. And it's pretty simple, I just whipped this up real quick. It's not 100% foolproof. Like, I just saw that a bat can fly into that gap right there. But, I'm pretty proud of this thing. It's a pretty quick design. And then the shulker box loader is just basic standard design. I mean, you could look up a tutorial on it. But, you can kind of tell how it works from just looking at it. Yeah, so we're just going to run this, fill up the rest of these dispensers with glowstone, and then remove these hoppers and rails and start the floor placer. I'm so excited for this. This perimeter is massive. 
you know this when you show it to your friends, uh, just a screenshot, and they're like, what is this of? It's just a normal super flat. And then when I told them it was our new perimeter, they were like mind boggled. And so I think that's really worth it. That's the reason why we do what we do here on Solar Tech. It's for the wow factor. I mean, who doesn't love a site like this? Slowly having the walls of your perimeter load in. And it's only going to get better. We have a, an amazing design planned that we're going to hand place. No tricks, nothing. Just manual hand placing of 160,000 blocks. And then we're going to show you the design principles of our per storage system. And we're going to show you how to make wall placers even. So I'm so excited to get these episodes out to you. Can't wait to show you what we do. And make sure to be safe and have a good day.